Hi Red Group, it's Mrs Taylor here and it's week 11 and maths lesson 1 and our learning objective today is to make half of an object. So here you can see Holly and Charles and they're standing by a table and on the table is a piece of art paper which they want to share equally. In what ways can they do this? Now an important word in this is equally. That means they both must have exactly the same amount of paper each. So how can they do it? They don't want to tear it. They just want to fold it. One way they can make sure that they both get an equal amount is by folding it in half from top to bottom. And you can see by the little pictures underneath that they both get exactly the same amount. But are there other ways to do this? Can you think of any other ways? Here's another way. It's still folded in half, so both sides of the fold are exactly the same size. Have a look at these pictures you can see that all of the pictures are in pairs. But which of these show halves? How did you get on? Remember, if a shape is going to be showing halves, then that means that both sides of the line need to be exactly the same size. Two equal parts. Now, if we wanted to shade to show half of the rectangle, then we need to count how many boxes there are inside it. There are eight boxes or eight squares. So what is half of eight? There's more than one way of doing this. Can you work out how many of those smaller squares would be shaded in to show half of the rectangle? To shade in half of the rectangle, you would need to shade in four of the small squares. It doesn't matter which four, but as long as four were shaded in, and that would be half of the eight squares. So that would be half of the rectangle. Look at these shapes. All of the shapes down one side has got a matching half on the other side. Look carefully. Can you work out which half goes with which other half? Where is its partner? These two go together. So do these, which just leaves these two to make a circle. Finally, look at these pictures. You've got a sun, a strawberry, a rugby ball and a carrot. Can we draw a line to cut each picture in half? And then let's put a tick next to the picture if there is more than one way of doing this. Have a go. How many did you get right? And there's lots of ways that we could split the sun and the rugby ball in half. Now it's your turn to have a go at some other exercises to do with halves of shapes. Have fun and see you soon.